Hey guys, amigos, como están? How are you? Okay, so we have here a uh, Jason bust. Um, actually, the paint job is not bad. I mean, it's kind of cool. You see the veins and everything. Uh, may have a little bit, a lot of crazy blood here, uh, which is not bad either. But what the client wants is for this guy to look a little bit, I guess, more realistic, more, more uh, so, uh, you know, I'll see what else I can do. I can add a little bit more splatter on the skin tone. Um, you know, to make it look more, have more depth. But, you know, it, it's, as you can see, it's not that bad. Como ven, no está tan mal esta, esta pintura. So, pero hay que hacerlo un poquito más real, es lo que quiere el cliente. Las venas se ven muy bien, pero vamos a hacerlo diferente un poco. We're going to add uh, glass eyes. Vamos a ponerle uh, ojos. And these teeth. Although the client did not ask for this, but I think it, it will make a pop. So we're going to make the teeth into acrylic. So let's get that going. Vamos a hacer los dientes en acrílico para que se vean más real también los dientes. All right, let's get this guy going. Okay, what I'm doing here is just using uh, water-based clay. Estoy usando plastilina de, pues va a ser como de, de agua, como que dice. I'm just going to build a uh, little wall here. Crear un, una pared. And I am using alternate impression material. Estoy haciendo este, eh, que sabe cómo se llama esta chingadera. Alginet. Anyways, uh, para hacer la impresión, I thought I had more, so I hope I have enough uh, in here. So we'll see. Uh, creí que tenía más, pero vamos a ver si alcanza esto. Almost a cup, casi una taza. I'm going to use a little bit of Vaseline uh, just so the alginate, I mean, it doesn't stick, but this will help a little bit easier for it to come off. Uh, voy a usar para este vaselina un poco para que no se pegue tanto el, el alginate. And we are going to add uh, the same amount of uh, water as a powder. One cup of, uh, of water. Uh, vamos a usar la misma cantidad de agua, uh, una taza. Uh, and I may add a little bit more depending. Uh, puedo aumentarle un poco más de agua dependiendo. Alright, it's already dry. Uh, the the drawback on this thing is that it's alginate, so any undercuts or whatever, you know, it can rip. So if that happens, then I'll probably have to go with silicone to make the mold. Uh, lo que pasa que con esto es que se rompe muy fácil, así que vamos a ver si se puede sacar el el molde bien. Si no, tendré que usar este el silicone. Okay, what I'm going to use here is the number sixty five, which is kind of like a tooth color but on the yellow side kind of like my teeth este es número 565 uh, polvo de acrílico uh, para los dientes más o menos entre marillón uh, casi como mis dientes uh, and the liquid y el líquido so we'll mix some of this and put it in each tooth lo vamos a poner en cada diente all right, so this is uh, not good to breathe, so make sure it's, you, you're, you're well ventilated or have a uh, a mask on. Esto huele a rayos, así que tengan cuidado uh, que haya mucho este, ventilación o una máscara. Okay, we'll let that dry for about 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending. Once it's nice and hard, then we'll take it off. Unos 15 o 20 minutos se endurece. Meanwhile, we're going to get rid of these teeth. Mientras, vamos a sacarle estos dientes. Okay, there you have it. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have waited until I make sure I have the right teeth. Because if they don't work, I'm screwed. Uh, voy a haber pensado otra vez, mejor voy a haber terminado los dientes primero antes de quitar estos porque si ya no sale el molde en la madre. There you have them. Ahí están. Ok, so now what we're going to do, lo que vamos a hacer es quitarle toda la ansía, grind it around in here, all the uh, gum area, and let's get that going. As you can see, I'm grinding each tooth out. Estoy este, quitándole diente por diente and placing it where it goes. Okay, now that the teeth are in there, 
we use the uh, pink uh, acrylic powder. Vamos a usar el ahora es el oops el color este ansia. And we let that dry. No, so I have a look at a second. Okay, now we're going to set in the teeth. Vamos a medir los dientes. Okay, it should be about right there. Más o menos así. Now it seems like I grounded, uh, you know, sanded off quite a bit here. So we just cover that up with putty and fix it up. Estas áreas se arreglan con, con la pasta y luego todo saldrá bien. Okay, like always, como siempre, epoxy sculpt, uh, equal amounts, a misma cantidad, iguales. And we put the epoxy, ponemos la pasta atrás para reinforzar, reinforce the gums. Okay, so I got the teeth in, ya puse los dientes, I added some more acrylic, más acrílico en estas áreas. I cut out all these uh, inside instead of painting it black, that way you have a, you know, a see-through or, well, a, a hollow piece in there. Uh, le quité todo lo de aquí en vez de pintar lo negro, así ya está el hueco como si fuera una boca de de veras. Alright, oops, sorry, I forgot to uh, show when I primered it, but anyways, I just primered the whole thing after uh, cleaning it up. Uh, no lo grabé cuando lo estaba este, poniendo el primer, pero este, ahorita no estoy poniendo el color piel. So I'm just adding the skin tone right now, or the base at least, la base. Okay, like in my past videos, here are the colors I'm going to use to give the uh, skin tone. Estos son los colores como en mis otros videos. Los colores que voy a usar para la piel. Yellow, amarillo, purple, morado, rojo, red, white, este, blanco, uh, café oscuro, dark brown, blue, azul, uh, verde, green, uh, café claro, and uh, light brown. And we're going to use the Cheapo brush. Poquito azul. If the dots are too big, just kind of brush them off a little bit with another brush. Están muy grandes los los puntitos con otra brocha. Se lo pueden quitar. Now the yellow, el amarillo. Now we're going to do some shading. Vamos a hacer un poco de sombra. Okay, here he is. 
vamos a ponerle putty adentro de aquí abajo okay, we add some putty down in here to smooth that out and then we'll add some veins in here give it a little yellowish tone to the eye a un poco de amarillo y venas le vamos a poner para que se vea un poquito más real el ojo ahí ok, mientras los ojos se secan while the eyes dry up 5 minute epoxy 5 minutos de epoxy pegamento again so it doesn't get yellow with time you're adding that little purple tint está poniendo un poco de color morado en el epoxy para que no se ponga amarillo con el tiempo Okay, so uh, I did the eye and added the blood. I, I ran out of the ba battery here, so I just kept going. Sorry about that, but it was pretty simple. I'll show you how I did the blood because I need to add some more back here. Uh, se me acabó la pila, entonces, pero yo seguí haciendo esta cosa, pero ahorita les explico cómo hice la sangre porque todavía le voy a poner más acá atrás. Uh, I also did the eye. Uh, lo que hice con el ojo, le puse las venitas y lo esprayé con un poquito de rojo y amarillito. On the eye, I added some, uh, you know, the, the little veins and a uh, little uh, airbrush, a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow on there. Uh, so, uh, again, um, he does need more blood back here because I just saw the uh, unmasking. Uh, so he does have more blood on this area. So we're going to add that right now and you'll see how I did that. So for the blood, I added the uh, five-minute epoxy and added the, uh, um, you know, the uh, fake blood. Uh, le mezclé la sangre artificial este, con el, el epoxy de cinco minutos. Así es como hice la sangre. That's how I added the uh, blood on there. So let's just add a little bit more here. So it makes it look a little fresher. Okay, now what we're going to do is add some uh, some hair. Uh, he has, you know, kind of just cheapo ass strands there, so let's just do something on there. So, vamos a ponerle un poco de pelo, ya que aquí tiene un poquito medios raros, pero los tiene. Okay, it looks like he has like brown hair, so let's add the hair. I'm using crazy glue. Voy a usar la cola loca. Se ve que tiene pelo. Este café. Now that that's dry, you want to pull. Ya que está seco, se le va jalando. Alright guys, here it is. Aquí está. Hope you learned something new. I mean, it's usually uh, actually the same techniques, mismas técnicas, uh, pero esperemos que hayan aprendido algo. Till next time.